Hi, my name is Rustam and I will show you how you can um, install and use PASS. Um, it is a password manager for Unix, uh, for Unix, uh, Unix suite operating systems. Um, let's see. Uh, first of all, you have to go to the documentation of the PASS. This is, you can find it under passwordstore.org and um, let's go this the different ways to install pass if you use an ubuntu just sudo apt-apt-get minus get install pass if you are using something else like arch or macintosh you can use brew and so on you can also install it directly if you want to i'm using ubuntu i will install it with a sudo aptitude get install pass like copy it and go to my console and pass it and after i pass it let's see what happens it will be installed now uh, after it's installed we need to create a jpg key to create a jpg key just type jpg minus gen minus key like generate key uh, and now we are given real name like I will give my name Rustam uh, some email address Rustam at Ubuntu and uh, I don't want to change it I will type O for OK and now he is asking me to enter a passphrase you can use passwords that you want to, uh, but don't forget it because you cannot. Okay, now it's JPG key created. You need the public key. This is this one. Just copy the whole thing. Like here, copy. And now we are going to use our pass. Just type pass. And you see password store is empty try pass in it let's try it pass in it still we have to uh, give him the jpg key id this is the thing that we copied just right now um, let's do it pass in it passed and enter now is password store initialized for this jpg key and we can I uh, use it to insert our passwords. Let's see. Um, to insert the password, you we just tip pass insert. And for example, if I want to save the password for my email account, like Rustam at Ubuntu, I can type it like this. Now enter. And now he is asking for my password. And now I typed it and retyped it and it's saved if I want to see what saved on my machine I can just type pass now I can see okay in the password store is Rustam at Ubuntu uh, what if I want to like be more organized if I have now the second password like pass insert and this is some hosting I don't know something like this root at this end um, I want to save this password okay I have a typo here so then the password for it and now if I tape type Pass. Uh, then uh, we have two entries. This is not bad, but if we have like 20, 30 entries and we have entries for different accounts, we want to organize it a little bit better. Uh, what we can do is just go and type pass and use this for the email. We can use email, then slash, and use like Rustam at Fedora not the password store yes it's not in the password store because I need to insert it I didn't insert it now I can give password for Fedora let's see and uh, now if we type pass we can see that 
Rustam at Fedoro is under the email. What we can do if we want to access this password, we go and type pass and then email at Fedora, right? Then enter. It's not in the password store, of course, because I didn't write Rustam at Fedora. And now the JPG is asking for the uh, for my password and let's give it and as you can see this is my password that I saved for this account and after I once gave to the JPG my password I don't have to like retype it I uh, it's saved once and for a while uh, let's see the other accounts let's see pass for the root 10 10 10 something like this and it was also root because this is the best password in the world um, the next thing what we can do what if we want to move our rustam at ubuntu to the email um, then we just use pass and mv for move and take our rustam at ubuntu and move it to the new location and the location is email rustam at ubuntu okay let's see pass and now we can see that um, my rustam at ubuntu is now under the email this is great what if i don't want to uh, give it like output it in terminal but i would want to directly copy it uh, no problem we just go there and do pass minus c for copy and type like email at rostam at fedora let's see and now it's copied and as you can see it will be clear in 45 seconds and if i open some editor this editor i can pass it here right um, there are also a lot of tools um, that allow you to work with the pass in the browser or in the other programs and use the passwords from the pass there directly um, there are a lot of plugins if you are interested just dive deeper here it's really good documented try it out give it a try don't use your notepad to save your passwords on your desktop don't do it start using pass i hope it helped a little bit